Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy me and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Sega Model 3 for Xbox Series S and X Dev Mode. For this, all you will need is the Sega Model 3 powered by Supermodel version 1.0.0.1 .1, and also you will need this one dependency file for it as well. You can find both these files within the Dev Mode apps thread in my Discord server or you can look at the GitHub links down below as well. Before we fully get into this, I want to give a shout out to RSARN. He's the one for the UWP port and his development with the Mesa UWP. Keep up the great work, bro. Killing it, and I can't wait to see what you have in store for the future. And shout out to the Supermodel team for their Supermodel, a Sega Model 3 arcade emulator. And if you do enjoy RSARN's contributions for the UWP, definitely go over to the full change log. And don't forget to make sure to hit that star at the top. And a big shout out to Dev Mode UWP for changing the icon and the splash screen. They changed the name from Supermodel to Sega Model 3. They've also changed the configuration file to get all the controls working for Xbox properly. Some games are a little buggy right now, but for the next update, it should all be fixed. But there is also a way you could edit it yourself that I'll show later on in this video. And then they have also added the VR RAM files supported for the Model 3 games. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's the authentication where you can set a password and username me personally i just keep this unchecked it's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time and then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our xbox on this page i bet so what we're going to do is switch over to the pc we're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal and then there's some settings we're going to change from there and then you should be good to go all right now that we're on the computer what we're going to do is enter in one of those links and yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. I bet once we get to the Xbox device portal underneath my games and apps, simply click on add. I'm going to bring up the folder where I have my Sega Model 3 file. And I'm going to simply drag it right in and then click next. It will ask you to choose any necessary dependencies. There is one dependency file that you need. Simply drag and drop and then click on start. I bet once that's finished, you just successfully installed Sega Model 3 on your Xbox. And now what we're going to do is start getting our game set up so they work properly. All right, bet. So for this app, all you would really need is your games to be in .zip format. And that's pretty much about it. So on your USB inside your games folder, just create a Sega Model 3 folder. Simply drag all the games you have into it and make sure that they're in .zip or else they won't work. And then once you got that all ready, what we're going to do is plug in the USB to our Xbox. And we're going to load up Sega Model 3. I bet. So before you actually open the app, what you want to do is press the select button on it. Head over to view details. And make sure to change it from an app to a game. Unless you have that set by default, then you should be good to go. And then all we're going to do is simply open up the app. Alright, once it opens up, you'll see a screen like this. It is the file explorer. There is currently no menu. So all you would have to do is simply look for your games folder. Go to your Sega Model 3 games folder. And then just select your game. And it should boot right up. Select the race and just like that, you got Sega Model 3 running on your Xbox Series X via dev mode. And that's pretty much about it. Now I'm going to show you how you could go into the supermodel.ini config file so that you can also change it to widescreen. Or if you wanted to change any of the controls for the games, you could do that as well. And all we would have to do is go into the dev mode portal. Same thing as we did when we installed the app. So we're going to go there right now. 
All right, bet. Now that we're back at the Xbox device portal, all you need to do is on the left side, click on File Explorer, go to Development Files, head down to Windows Apps, and then scroll down to the S's until you find Sega Model 3. Go to the Config folder, and then now you should see the Supermodel.ini. All you would have to do is on this side right here, click on Save. You might get an unverified download blocked, but that's fine. Just click on it and go to download unverified file. And then now all you would do is just go over to where that file is installed on your computer. Right click on it, go to edit in notepad. So once you open up the file with a notepad, you should be greeted with a screen like this. This is the configuration file for the app. At the top, you should see the Xbox controller supermodel input ID tags. This is basically the template for what ID tags or for what controller bindings. So if you were to want to change any of the per game binding settings, this is basically the template you would go through. And then if you were to scroll down, you'll start seeing the game names with the controls and then what's the inputs for them. And then you can change them to however you like them. All right, so what we're gonna do is scroll back up. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you should see global on the bottom left. Graphics, new 3D engine, quad rendering, widescreen, stretch, and so on. All I'm gonna do is change the false on widescreen. I'm gonna highlight it and then just type in true. And then I'm gonna go up to the top and click on file and click save. And then just like that, I have enabled widescreen in my INI file. And now all we got to do is go back to the dev portal, delete our old one, and then upload the new one. So let's do it right now. Go back in the portal, supermodel.ini. On the right side, go to delete. Click OK. Now I'm going to go to choose file. Click on the supermodel.ini. Go to open. And then all you got to do is simply click on upload. And then now what we're going to do is the supermodel.ini file that is in the portal. We're just going to simply delete it. And now we're going to go to choose file. And then we're going to select our supermodel.ini that we edited. And then we're going to click on upload. And then once you do that, we're going to head back to the Xbox and make sure that our games are loaded in widescreen. And then we should be done. All right, now that we're back on the Xbox, we're gonna make sure that our widescreen is working. So simply look for your game and let's load right into it. Select the race course. And just like that, you got your games running in widescreen. You learn how to save and edit the INI file itself if you ever wanted to make any additional changes. And you got the app running properly. I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like. Let me know in the comments if you need any additional help. I hope you guys have a great day.